Ma Ken Ki Season 1 begins by showing a sophomore high school girl named Amea Haruko, vice president of the student council at 10B High School. That day, Haruko received information that her childhood friend Takeru Oyama would become a new student at her school, so she went to Takeru's house to invite him to go to school together. Unfortunately, that morning Takeru still hadn't finished wearing his uniform when Haruko entered his room. Seeing that, she was almost crushed by several boxes, so he quickly protected her with his body. But because they fell in a bad position, he had to be willing to get a hard slap from her. After that, they rushed to the school, which has now turned into a mixed high school after being an all-girls high school. After they arrived at the school gate, Haruko left Takeru because she had to prepare a new student welcome ceremony with the other student council members. Although Takeru initially looked confused, he was very happy because he finally got to see many beautiful girls in the school. He subconsciously followed the beautiful girls until he came to a field behind the school. When he arrived at the field, Takeru was surprised by two girls fighting each other using superpowers he had never seen before. Shortly after, a beautiful girl named Himegami Kodama looked surprised by his arrival while watching the fight between the two girls. Takeru accidentally saw Himegami's underwear when she fell from the tree. She was angry with his perverted behavior and intended to beat him, but she stopped her intention after seeing the blue mark on his neck. When Takeru arrived at the gymnasium, the female principal, Minori, gave several speeches to welcome the new students. In that speech, she mentioned that each student will receive an element that will be used to fight for eight Makens. Hearing that, Takeru looked confused and wondered what was meant by element and Maken. Minori, who realized that some of the new students still didn't understand what Maken and element were, asked one of the senior students to show their strength on stage. Himegami quickly stood on the stage and showed Takeru as her opponent to fight. She considers him her enemy because of the mark on his neck and tries to kill him. Fortunately, when Takeru was almost killed by Himegami's lightning power, a cute girl named Kushia Inaho appeared and protected him. Inaho confesses to everyone as his fiancé, who will always protect him from various attacks. In the afternoon, while at the dorm, Haruko approached Takeru and found Inaho and Himegami, who had moved into his room. Knowing this, she decides to live together in his dorm to watch over them all, and Takeru's life with three beautiful girls begins. The next day, a female teacher named Tamaka-sensei came to Takeru's class and announced that the school would hold a physical examination in the infirmary. Hearing the announcement, Takeru and his classmate named Usui Kendo pretended to have permission to go to the toilet to peek at the girls who were doing a physical examination in the health room. Takeru and Kendo were excited and went to the back of the school to peek at the girls from behind the ventilation window. Unfortunately, their perverted actions were caught by Himegami, so she beat them up. Not long after, it was Takeru's turn to get a physical examination in the medical room. He is asked to enter his hand into a machine called the Karanbo to find out what talent and Maken are suitable for him. Surprisingly, the Karanbo machine couldn't detect Takeru's strength and couldn't track down the Maken suitable for him. The teacher who examined him looked surprised at the oddity because this incident had only happened this year since the school was founded. Tagayashi Ken, who created the machine, was sure that there was nothing wrong with the machine he had created. However, he was surprised because three students could not be read and detected by the Karanbo machine that year. Minori then orders Ken to create a special Ma Ken for Takeru, so he has self-defense at the school. After that, Haruko approached Takeru and invited him to join her club, where she was the club's chairman. She then explains that the Ken Kebu Club is in charge of helping the student council solve problems between students at the school. Since the school turned into a mixed school for boys and girls, the Ken Kebu Club's responsibility to maintain the school's peace is even greater. One day, there was a fight between a tomboyish female student named Azuki and a male student named Kurigasakai. They both agreed to respect the decision of the winner of the battle. If Azuki wins, Kai is prohibited from disturbing her again. But if Kai wins, Azuki must be willing to be his girlfriend. After the fight started, she tried to attack his body, but she struggled to defeat him because of his metal element. Takeru, who felt uncomfortable with Azuki, immediately ran to the center of the field to block Kai's punch aimed at Azuki's body. Unbeknownst to Takeru, he expended a bit of his power while resisting Kai's attack. After Takeru blocked Kai's view, Azuki quickly aimed a powerful kick at his face until Kai fell unconscious, and she was declared the victor in the fight. At first, Azuki and Haruko were worried about Takeru's actions, suddenly engaging in a fight without using Maken. But they applaud and admire his prowess who managed to bravely block Kai's blows. In the evening, Takeru and Kendo are invited by the Ken Kebu Club to a hot spring pool to celebrate welcoming new members. Yuka Amato as the club's vice secretary, began introducing all the club members to their new members. The Ken Kebu Club consists of Takaki Furon, the student council president, Haruko, Sato Kimi as the first secretary, Akaza Chacha, 
and Himegami as members. Then from the Madu Shikabu Club, who will later join the Kenkebu Club consisting of Minaya Uruchi, the first class representative, and Shinatsu Azuki, the second class representative. Because their club will unite in one organization, they finally name their group the Ma Kenki Organization, where they will be mentored by a female teacher named Nijaoaki. The next day, Takeru and Kendo had to go through the training and understand all the materials needed by each member of Ma Kenki. In the evening, Takeru, who felt very tired after undergoing training all day, was massaged by Inaho and Haruko. The next day, Himegami asked Takeru to meet her at the city park because she wanted to ask for his help. After Himegami arrived at the park, she told Takeru that she wanted him to accompany her to do some shopping. Unbeknownst to them, Haruko, Inaho, and Kendo have been secretly watching them all day long because Haruko doesn't want him to flirt with Himegami. Then when Himegami and Takeru rested by the lake, she tried to see the purple mark on his neck. However, an unknown man suddenly appeared behind them and attacked her with an extremely strong force. As a result, due to the attack, the lake guardrail was damaged, and Himegami was thrown so far that she fell into the lake. Takeru, who saw her almost drowning, immediately ran to grab her hand and plunged into the lake to save her. Takeru and Himegami accidentally kiss in the lake, and that incident miraculously raises his power. After he brought her out of the lake, Takeru beat the unknown man with one very powerful kick. When she witnessed the awakening of Takeru's power, Himegami assumed that his power was the power of concentration or blood pointer. After Takeru defeated the unknown man, Himegami thanked him by kissing his lips. Their friends who witnessed their kiss became noisy because they were jealous of their closeness. The next day, the Makenki Club gets information that recently, there have been several violent incidents in the school's backyard. Every student who becomes a victim of that violent incident always loses their memories, so they still have a hard time tracking down the perpetrator. Takeru and Arachi waited for quite a long time, but after several hours, the culprit still hadn't appeared. Disturbed by Takeru's stomach that kept rumbling, Orochi gave him her sandwich so that he wouldn't starve. After finishing eating sandwiches and drinking water, a girl approached Takeru and confessed that she knew who the perpetrators of the recent violent incident were. The girl suddenly ensnares Takeru with a rodent element stance, and it turns out that the perpetrator of the recent school violence incident is that girl. Just as she was about to attack Takeru, Orochi appeared just in time and started attacking her. Unfortunately, Orochi was caught in the girl's rodent style, so Takeru tried to contact the other Makenki club members through phone calls. Just as the girl almost beat Arachi, Haruko suddenly appeared and defeated her with one attack. Haruko can defeat her quickly because she is one of the school's strongest girls and has the strongest Maken that can open other dimension and absorb enemy powers. A few days later, Takeru saw Inaho who looked gloomy in class, so he intended to cheer her up by taking her shopping together. When they took shelter together in a park, she said that the rainy atmosphere at that time was the same as the atmosphere when the two of them first met. Unfortunately, Takeru couldn't remember anything about their meeting which made Inaho sad. She then asked him to go home and leave her alone in the park. After that, Inaho, in tears, walked towards the hill alone while the weather was still raining heavily. Kendo, who saw this, immediately rushed to Takeru and beat him because he thought Takeru had hurt Inaho's feelings. After hearing this, Takeru rushed to pick up Inaho on the hill. On the way, he saw a cat almost crushed by an avalanche, so he ran to protect the cat. At the same time, Inaho suddenly appears and saves them from the rock avalanche with her Maken power. That afternoon, Takeru carried her because she felt weak after she used her strength. On the way home, Takeru apologized to Inaho because he couldn't remember his promise to her before. He promised to try to become stronger so he could always protect her. Hearing that, she was happy because what he said that afternoon was the same as his promise. The next day, Ken approached Takeru to give a special Ma Ken that he had created for him. But before he could explain the power of the special Ma Ken, Ken had to leave after seeing some transfer students from other schools had arrived. Shortly after, a young man named Akaya appears at the principal's office and seduces Minori. It turned out that he had come to take female students who were going to do an exchange program from another school where the students were members of the Venus group. He mentioned that the arrival of the Venus students was actually to carry out an assignment from the Kamigari organization who suspected that there was a student at 10B High School who would awaken the power of Yamana no Orochi. Kamigari is a secret organization of Maken users who cooperate with the government for an unknown purpose. And, Yamana no Orochi is a legendary beast in the form of an eight-headed dragon. On the following day, Venus member students will join the Maken Key Club for the next summer. All members of Venus began to introduce themselves one by one, starting with a pair of twin girls named Iri Rufinian and Ri Rufinian, then Medea Demetora. 
Shiria Atsuka, and Yanming. They were arrogant because they thought Venus members were much stronger than the students at Tenbi High School. The next day, the girl Venus is placed in a different class where Shiria will coincidentally be in the same class as Takeru. Shiria, who saw him, immediately approached him and hugged him happily, making Inaho feel jealous. But after learning about Inaho's jealousy, Shiria teases Takeru even more, making him get hate from the male students because their idol was taken by him. Shiria is indeed known as a cute girl who is very popular because of her beauty and her cuteness, so many male students idolize her. One day when Shiria was hanging out with the Venus girls, she said she wanted to date Takeru. Hearing her wish, they intended to help her so that she could become closer to him. They even investigated Takeru's background and the girls who were always with him, Inaho, Haruko, and Himegami. The next day Shiria sends a love letter to Takeru without writing her name, while the other Venus girls will try to distract Inaho, Haruko, and Himegami. They can even fool the very innocent Inaho with various snacks and Takeru's fake dolls. Thanks to all the Venus girls' efforts, Shiria finally managed to approach Takeru and invite him to go to a building together. Unfortunately, Haruko and Himegami found out the plans of the Venus girls after they stole the strategy paper from Yanming. Haruko and Inaho panicked and immediately rushed to find Takeru because they feared something bad would happen to him. After they arrived at the location, they were relieved because it turned out that Takeru was only invited by Shiria to sing karaoke together. The next day, Kendo met with the student council president to submit a petition from all the male students proposing that the swimming class for female students is combined with the swimming class for male students. Obviously, it was all Kendo's plan to enjoy the sight of beautiful girls in bikinis. He also proposed holding a water cavalry competition to determine the decision on the petition. If a male student wins the competition, the male and female swimming classes at the 10B high school must be combined. After all the student council members agreed, the president agreed to the agreement so they could decide whether the swimming classes would remain separate or combined. The next day, the water cavalry competition began to determine the merging of the male and female swimming classes. Each male and female team consisted of six groups, each led by a teacher. The team whose headband comes off or their rider falls into the water is disqualified from the competition. As a result of the plan, the men's team seemed to excel in the competition and managed to get rid of the strongest people from the women's team. However, before the final, the match was fierce, so each team left their strongest team, namely the Takeru and the Shiria teams. Shiria then asked Demetor to use her made air power to create a very powerful wave. Unfortunately, Demetor's concentration suddenly broke when she saw a beautiful woman named Minerva appear in the school corridor. As a result, Takeru used the opportunity to take Shiria's headband, and finally, the boys' team won the match. After the match ends, Demetor mentions that Minerva, the last member of Venus, has arrived, and their mission to investigate the abilities of the students at 10B High School begin. The next day, Kendo and the other boys seemed excited to join the combined swimming class because they could see the beautiful girls. But after they arrived at the pool, they looked disappointed because they couldn't see the girls and could only hear their voices. As it turned out, all the female students had asked a male student for help with his maken that could make them invisible. A few days later, Takeru was called by Takaki and Yuka because he got the lowest score on the elemental control test. Takaki, who doesn't want Takeru's bad performance to degrade the reputation of the Maken Key Club, warns him that he will be expelled from the club if he fails the next elemental control test. Minerva, who knows about Takeru's problems, suggests they give him a training camp and teach him how to control elements. In the evening, Kendo accompanies Takeru to practice elemental control in the forest while the girls will wait inside Takeru's dormitory. After practicing for hours, Takeru's ability to control the elements has finally improved. Even Himegami, watching him, thinks his abilities are improving very quickly. At the same time, Himegami realizes that Minerva has been secretly following her all along to monitor and investigate her powers. It turns out that Minerva has discovered the student at 10B High School with the legendary power of Yamada no Orochi is Himegami. She also has found out that Takeru has similar powers to Himegami. She plans to bring them to the Kamigari organization before their power breaks the seal of heaven. The next day, Takeru got a perfect score on the elemental control test thanks to the intense training he had been doing all night so that he wouldn't be kicked out of the Maken Key Club. After that, Takeru went to Minori Sensei's room so Ken could put a special Maken on his hand. Ken explains that Takeru's Maken can make the enemy lose control of their Maken if the enemy uses a Maken attack in battle. Ahead of summer vacation, Kendo and Takeru look excited to imagine that they will spend time with the beautiful girls of the Maken Key Club during the holidays. However, because the club doesn't have enough cash, they decide to work part-time as waiters at their school cafe. While they were working, Haruko, jealous of Inaho and Takeru's closeness, 
and she decided to be alone on a bridge. Unfortunately, a mysterious man suddenly attacks Haruko with a weapon, causing her to fall off the bridge. Kakeru tries to save her and attack the mysterious man using his special Ma Ken. However, he couldn't attack the man because apparently, the man didn't attack using Ma Ken power. Fortunately, Azuki arrived in time and saved them from the mysterious man's attack with the power of her mate eagle. It turns out that the mysterious man who attacked Haruko and Takeru is the manager and owner of the cafe where the Maken Key Club members work. Seeing this, Ken explained that all the attacks were the work of the Kamigari organization, which had often controlled the staff or students of 10B High School to seize the academy. On the other hand, a girl named Otohime, the leader of the Kamigari organization, seems annoyed that her plan to control the cafe manager and attack Takeru failed. The next day, Takeru received information from Himegami that Haruko suddenly disappeared when she left yesterday morning. Takeru, who was worried, immediately looked for Haruko's whereabouts around the school. While searching for Haruko, Takeru gets information from a female student controlled by the Kamigari organization. She tells him that Haruko is at the top of Aminohara, and he must come to that location alone to save her. He immediately rushed to go there alone to save her. After arriving at the location, Takeru saw a girl who was Otohime's accomplice named Kin Kyo. He also saw Haruko who was being held captive by them. Otohime confessed that she was curious about Takeru's great power, so she forced him to fight against Kin Kyo. At first, Takeru couldn't do much and could only accept all attacks from Kin Kyo without being able to counterattack. He felt hopeless and suddenly remembered the past memories of losing his mother. He felt very guilty because he could not protect his mother from the attacks of bad people. So since that day, he has always tried to protect the people around him. Without realizing it, Takeru began to attack the 10B high school and absorbed all the elements from the students around him. On the other hand, Demetora and the other Venusians have managed to save Haruko, trapped by Otohime's Maken. Yan Ming says that the Venus group got orders from Akaya to stop Otohime from destroying 10B high school. Moreover, all Venus members considered 10B high school their second home and bonded with the students from that school. Came back to Takeru who was still losing control and intending to attack everything around him. Luckily, Haruko arrived just in time to prevent him from destroying their school. She then tries to defeat him by using her strongest Maken, Murakumo, who is the sacred Maken that can destroy evil powers. When Murakumo's sword touched Takeru's body, suddenly, the evil power exploded out of his body. Finally, Tenbi High School was saved, and Takeru, who regained consciousness, thanked Haruko for saving him from evil forces. Since that incident, Takeru's determination to become stronger is getting bigger, and he is regularly training with Inaho and Haruko. All members of the Maken Key Club are also increasingly active in taking care of all problems and maintaining peace at their school. The moral that can be learned from this anime is that the sincerity and love we have to protect the people we love is a force that is much stronger than any other power in this world.